Okay, here goes episode three, precision rifle shooting with your Desert Tech rifle. Again, my name is Tyler Frainer. Today we're gonna to be talking about bags, tripods, and barricade shooting. So what's up with this? Well, I'll tell you what's up with this. In precision rifle shooting, do you get to lay on your belly and shoot targets at long range? Yeah, you, you do, you do, but not that often anymore. Maybe one to two stages out of 10. The others are gonna be a mixture of barricades. Barricades are anything the match director can come up with to screw with you. Uh, I've shot out of helicopters, out of the back of pickup trucks, out of cargo nets, off of rocks, off of T-posts, fences, anything they can think of. How do we mitigate this minefield of madness? We use bags. Now, bags aren't nearly as sexy as a rifle system or an optic, but they are uh, absolutely a necessity to be successful at precision rifle. So let's go through some bags. These first four that we're gonna talk about are similar in nature. Uh, all of them I use as a rear bag and, and also can be used as a one-point barricade bag. Uh, this is my go-to, this is my favorite, kind of the OG, if you will, from Short Action Precision. This is known as the Solo Sack. Weighs in at about eight pounds full of playground sand. Um, when you go to the airport, the TSA really loves these, and if you have them in your bag, they might strip search you, which is just an extra added benefit. Uh, we'll talk about its use and, uh, and how to mitigate barricades with this. Uh, the next three are really similar, um, starting off with uh, the Coltac. This is the Tricorn bag. Um, has three udders on the bottom, like cow udders, if you think you can milk them. But you can put them on barricades, and you put it on barricade, put the rifle on top, uh, provide some downforce on the scope, provides a stable shooting platform. Uh, next one is Wee Bad. This is the Fortune Cookie. Uh, similar application but with two udders goes over the barricade like so and the last one is kind of the, the, the original of the udder type bags this is the Reezer Precision Game Changer uh, two udders goes over a barricade and away you go next type of bag we have rail mounted bags because why wouldn't you want to attach them to their rifle that's fun too first up uh, this guy is the Coltac this is the backbone. Uh, basically what they've done is they've taken this backbone frame and they've paired it with a bag. The, rifle, the bag can be used uh, by itself or, or paired up with this uh, Arca mount. Arca mount is super strong. I love them as I've talked about previously. Simply loosen them up just a little bit, move them wherever you want. They're super stable. Uh, this is used for two point shooting, which we'll demonstrate in a second. Uh, the other thing that's cool about Arca weighted bags is you can just take them off and get rid of them just like that. Uh, another type of Arca rail mounted bag. This is the Blam Enterprises uh, Power Wedge. Uh, basic, same concept as the backbone, just a different design. Also very, very good, very useful. Uh, third type of bag is basically a bag that's designed to take up space. Okay, what we don't want is our rifle floating around in bare space. So whenever possible, we want to use something to take up the space. This is the one that kind of invented the whole thing, uh, the Weebad Pump Pillow. This is probably my third one, uh, not because they're not durable, because they are, but because I've either lost them or given them away to other people. But this guy is utilized to take up void space and will demonstrate its use as well. Now, the Desert Tech rifle has kind of a unique feature that will give you an advantage over other shooters shooting barricades. And then it has this super cool monopod, which I use in conjunction with a pump pillow in order to take up space. So I go to get into position, got a little bit too much space, reach down, boom, now I'm rested on my knee. I got a stable two point shooting position, which I can rapidly uh, build a stable shooting position and shoot. So those are bags, let's talk about how to use them. Okay, so let's define a couple things. I just talked about one point shooting with bags versus two point shooting. So by definition, this is one point shooting, meaning her rifle is, is balanced on this barricade by one single point, okay? Now she's gonna demonstrate two point shooting. Okay, she's gonna use a solo sack up front it looks like. Looks like she's gonna use the pump pillow in the rear. So now her rifle has two points of contact, one up front, one in the rear. That's two point barricade shooting. Okay, 
So back to one point shooting. All right, right here, she is utilizing the solo sack. Now you can see that the solo sack is in line with the rifle, meaning the, the, the long portion of it is lined up with the barrel. It's draped over the front of the barricade a little bit, and then she takes her hand, she holds the, the bag, and also sticks a thumb on her, on her rail. This is one point shooting, and then in the rear, she is barely shouldered up to this thing, barely has any pressure on it. It's basically all balanced on this midpoint. And all she's gonna do now is get on target, reach up and tri trip the trigger off. Now, again, due to proper body positioning, shoulders, hips, knees all squared up, she's gonna be able to absorb that recoil and see what happened. All right, now we're gonna swap over to a different type. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and use the the Coltac Tricorn, um, inter basically interchangeable with the We Bad um, Fortune Cookie or the Game Changer. All right. So she drapes one of the udders over the barricade. All right. Now, instead of holding down on the bag, she holds down on the top of the scope. All right. So she puts her hand on top of the scope, puts a little bit of down pressure. And then she's able to take a shot, almost no pressure into the rear of the barrel. Again, we're shooting a super heavy six millimeter and she's able to take the shot, absorb the recoil, measure her hit or miss. So that is one point barricade shooting with the two major types of bags. Okay, now on to two point barricade shooting, all right? You can see she's got the wee bat up front. She's got the pump pillow in the rear. She's got her right knee up now her hips are still in line with the rifle, but her right knee is up in order to take up space. Okay, this is an extremely stable shooting position. A uh, little bit more stable than one, one point barricade shooting, you could argue, but one point barricade shooting is quicker to move from position to position, two points a little bit slower. So now she's gonna move to a different position. She's gonna utilize the monopod in addition to this current setup. Okay, move her bag up, front end of the rifle, Oh, she's got the pump pillow, but it's just not quite enough. So she's gonna use that uh, monopod, take up a little additional space, and boom, stable two-point shooting position. Uh, again, a little bit slower than one point. Time is of the essence, but if left, less movement is required, this is a hell of a good way to attack the stage. All right, now we're on to building a different kind of stable platform. This is, again, two-point shooting. Uh, but we're using a tripod now. Now tripods are, are becoming more and more popular and I'll just be honest with you, you can spend as much money on a good tripod as you can a whole damn rifle. But they are extremely, uh, they are extremely stable. Now what you can see is she is using the leg of the tripod. You think tripod and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach it to the top, but guess what, you don't do that because that sucks. What you do do is utilize one of the down legs in order to provide a stable rear shooting platform. This is super, super stable. She's got a fist around, around that, uh, that leg and she's utilizing it as a platform for the rifle. Um, we're using the front point of contact as uh, the, the rail mounted bag uh, that works really good. Now, if you are right handed you want that tripod to be on the right side of you, okay? If you're left-handed, you want it to be on the left side. By the way, I'm sorry that God made you wrong-handed, but we're right-handed shooters, so the tripod is on the right-hand side, and this is how we go. Now she's gonna demonstrate moving down one rung, okay? So she's gotta move the, the rifle through, reposition the tripod, and go. Now, when using these these tripod positions it's extremely important to pre-plan the stage and how you're going to attack it you want to move from right to left if you're right-handed she's going to show you transitioning again up and going right and how it will collapse the tripod kind of causes some problems That's pretty much what happens to me when i can't so boom there's tripod shooting um, we could make an entire video out of this. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of practice to set up your tripod, a lot of practice to shoot from your tripod, and even more practice to move from barricade to barricade in an efficient manner. So that is two-point shooting from a tripod.
All right, that's the conclusion of the third video. A lot of information here, kind of a lot of the keys to success for precision rifle shooting. Uh, if you guys want, leave some comments, contact some people at Desert Tech. If there's one point you want me to go over more, maybe it's tripods, uh, maybe it's the solo sack, uh, let us know and we'll make a whole video out of it.